but it's to say that it is, is quite substantial. Most major operating systems and devices have these Intel chips in. Obviously, details haven't been released about what exact products have been affected, but there is speculation. All we know is that these, these numbers will be significantly high, you know, based on the fact that Intel chips are truly ubiquitous. Cybersecurity. There, there are a lot of things that we use day to day, whether it's payment services, you know, banks or companies, which have security issues, which are a lot more widespread. You know, if you're a general end user, I don't think there's a reason to panic. <laughs> <laughs>